Greetings folks, in this video I'll be having a look at the new release from Toolkit RC. This is the M6 AC Smart AC Charger. It's dual input, AC or DC, 100 watt AC or 300 watt DC, 15 amps, 106S charging and has a 2 inch LCD screen. You can use it as an adjustable power supply. 1 to 30 volts, uh, can measure resistance and signal, can output signals, can be an ESC tester and can charge DJI batteries. Okay, it uh, comes in different nationalities. This is the European one. I'm in Australia and they've also sent me the Australian power plug, which is good, as well as a, an in-car DC supply there. But uh, anyway, let's have a look what's inside. Little follow us QR codes there. And we've got a little bit of a manual there and a LCD cover. And there's the European power plug and USB A to USB A. And here's the little charger. It's a nice little size, uh, nice to sit on your desk there. Big buttons. USB output, signal pins there, balance pins, XT60 output, and on the back we have the XT60 DC input, nice big fan, and the AC input. All right, let's plug it in and have a play with it. All right, I have a little 2S LiPo here. We can plug in and see what is what. The balance port negative is up that end there. So it gives us the battery voltage and charging current there. We have the input voltage, I'm guessing, uh, watt hours and temperature. And we can click down to have a look at the individual cell voltages. And if we click the little circle there, we can go straight to start. Or we can go through some of the selections. So LiPo, uh, different sorts of batteries. LiPo, high voltage, LIFE, lithium ion. Uh, LTO, whatever that is, NIMH, lead, acid, and the usual DJI selections there. Uh, but we're not doing DJI, so I won't worry about that. Go to LiPo. We can uh, auto detect the number of cells, or we can tell it how many cells there are. Change the mode from charge to discharge to storage to destroy. You can set the end voltage and the charge current. Let's go nice and safe. I usually charge mine at only one amp because I'm usually not in much of a hurry and it's uh, kinder to the batteries. And start to get it going. So there we have the current voltage, charge current, one amp, and the watts that it's charging at. We can have a look at the individual cells and the internal resistance. And back to the charging screen again. I've just bumped up the charge current to uh, get to the end quicker and the fan has started up. Bit of a rattly sound from the fan. That could be nicer, I think. There we go, fast charge is done and that's the beep that tells you. So that's the basic charging. Let's go and look at the setup menu now. If you long press of the enter button there we can change the input settings and I think that's telling us we have the AC plugged in there let's uh, try it with the DC plugged in plugging the battery in And yeah, that's telling us that now we're on DC with the 300 watt limit, voltage range, etc. So that just reflects what you have plugged in. Security settings. You can set the safe internal temperature and external temperature. Safe charging time. I like that. You can set it to only charge for two hours or three hours or whatever sort of things you want there. Personalization. Uh, backlight, operation volume, language, a 
lots of languages to choose from. Different themes, light or dark. You can turn battery selection on or off. Continuous work on or off. What to do when the work is completed, trickle or end. Balance the start voltage always and other choices there. And back to default settings. And there's the firmware and ID number. Now if we push the back button, if we long push the back button, we can change the operation. <coughs> Measure resistance. Oh, I don't have a battery in there at the moment. Measure signal. And you can choose between setting a PWM, PPM or S bus signals. That's pretty cool. You can choose the mode. Uh, so auto that will vary a few different auto speeds varying through the range of PWM output. That's good. That's very useful. Let's manually set the PWM. Uh, we would have it on 1500. Would be the most useful for manual. There we go. ESC test. Not sure what that does. I'll have to play with that later on. Power output. This would be uh, very useful for hot wire cutting and things like that. So output voltage. You could have yourself a 12 volt power supply there and set the maximum current. All very useful stuff, especially for hot wire cutting. I would put that on uh, 16 volts, limit the power, the current output to five amps and that would be perfect for my hot wire cutting rig. And that is about it. Yeah, so that is a very useful little piece of equipment. Useful for AC charging on your desk or DC charging in your car out in the field and uh, multi-function tool as well for uh, signal testing, si signal generating, power supply as well. That's a nice little charger from Toolkit RC. Very good. So that is the M6AC. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.